and as you can see it's clearly all blocked off so I can't access the river today which is good that's fine we'll just play around on the Welland River instead <laughs> not wrong with that All right, looks like I'm the only person here. Uh, hello, welcome. It is um, Monday, holiday Monday, Easter, which means it's the uh, 18th of April, and I'm gonna go on my second ride of the season. And uh, I've chosen another really crappy day, really. Uh, as you can tell, the wind's blowing a little bit. And uh, when I got up this morning, it was, um, <coughs> it was clear skies, very sunny, hardly any wind. Walked the dog at seven o'clock this morning. And I thought, you know what, I've got to get out on the water. It's been a couple of weeks. I'm itching to get out. Uh, then the wind started picking up. So I thought, you know what, won't do the lake. Uh, lake's going to be too choppy. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's come here. Chippewa, historic town or historic village of Chippewa here in Niagara Falls. All right, just quickly show you on Google Maps exactly where Chippewa is. Well, we're right here. This is the boat ramp. I should just zoom in a little bit more. Uh, we're here. Uh, the boat ramp is round about here. Now if I zoom out, I'll give you a better idea of what the Welland River and the Niagara River look like. So we're going to go into Chippewa. That's the Niagara River, uh, the border for the states. Uh, Niagara Falls, the falls itself. And today we're going to be concentrating on this bit, the uh, entrance to the uh, Welland River. So we're going to ride along here and take it all the way down to the Welland Canal to where virtually the Welland River ends. You can't go any further. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I'm the only person here. I actually really thought there might be more people around, at least boaters out fishing. Um, that said, there's a little nippy. I'll tell you about the weather very shortly. In the meantime, I'm going to ski out, get in the water, then I'll talk to you then. All right, here we go. We're away. Actually, we'll go the other way first. Let's go towards the river. And as you can see, I'm the only person here in the whole area. So right now it's about 8 degrees Celsius here in Chippewa. Uh, when I left the house it was 7. The clouds are starting to build. We are forecasting for rain and it's going to turn to snow tonight. So the temperatures will drop. So uh, the wind was pretty strong on Lake Erie so I decided to come to Chippewa today. This is going to be a short video. We'll kick right up to uh, the Niagara River then, then we'll head down to uh, the Welland River which is back that way. Let's see what we can see. So uh, uh, enjoy the ride folks. That wind's a little fresh. Tell by the flag over there, it's quite a gusty wind. It's probably gusting about 25, 30 kilometers an hour. I mean, look at the flags over there, straight out. So, uh, yep. Now, in a few weeks, all these uh, little private docks here will have boats on them, sea dudes, jet skis, whatever. Uh, we're still a good month away before we start getting some good warm weather here in southern Ontario. Um, usually everyone starts opening up just before the May 2-4 weekend. But anyway, this is Chippewa by the way. Lady waving over there, hello. I don't know why I just put that really silly accent on. Oh, hello. quite pleasant it's not as cold as I thought it would be I mean it's cold but it's not very cold I mean out here it'll be cold it's uh, the Niagara River 
But I'm not going to go too far out here because it's too early in the season to uh, take risks. Ha! So that's why, that is why there's no one here on the Chippewa River. It's still blocked off. They haven't opened the actual uh, the gate yet. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, no access for any uh, like boats, jet skis, anything like that. And as you can see, it's clearly all blocked off. So I can't access the river today, which is good. We'll just play around on the Welland River instead. Not wrong with that. What shall I have? What shall I have? Uh, medium coffee, one milk, one sugar, and a blueberry muffin. All right, got my coffee. Still a little breezy. Ah, oh, bird pooping right there. I don't want to put my hand there then, am I? All right, what we got to watch for on the river is uh, things like that. Uh, with it being so early in the season, there's a lot of damaged trees from the ice, a lot of broken off twigs, branches, so you just gotta keep an eye out for them. Last thing you wanna do is ride over that speed and get some damage and screw the beginning of your season up. I just love, look at those wheels on that. Look at that. It just, just fascinates me that uh, most of the mechanism for this rotating bridge is still here, but unfortunately it no longer rotates because nothing comes down here that is big. Here we are. That's it. That's the end of the river. And the winds have uh, really picked up. And the state of the river, as you can see right now, is uh, rather choppy. For a river, that is, a small river. So it's a little bumpy riding up here. I'm just idling along here, about six kilometers an hour 
into the current. And uh, every now and then you get a good gust of wind and uh, you really feel it on the sea -Doo. I'm currently using no eco mode. You know, with the price of fuel and all that, I mean, I don't really want to go out the way and burn gas right now. I'd rather save that money and uh, put that in fuel for the summer when I really need to be out and about and have fun. But right now, it's just a leisurely uh, cruise on the river. And it uh, looks like rain will be imminent soon. So I'll start heading back. All right, there we have it. That is uh, today's little adventure over and done with. Just a short one uh, to get me out and about. So hopefully we'll be back in the next week or the week after with uh, a proper adventure because we need to get on one. Uh, as soon as that weather gets warmer, we'll start going to places and uh, other places I've not been to before. I'm a little tongue tied, must be cold. So uh, yeah, once the weather gets better, we'll start visiting newer places. So until next time, stay safe.